Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the uh, Candy Edge uh, detector. Um, so this follows the video uh, about the uh, Sobel filter and this is uh, kind of an extension of the uh, Sobel filter to, to get uh, uh, an edge detector instead of um, the response to the Sobel filter which was uh, so not binary but which was more the um, the, the strength of the gradient at every pixel in the image. Um, so the, the Kanye Edge algorithm uh, provides a way to, to take that uh, Sobel um, output and to uh, transform it into a binary uh, image where we only have the uh, edges uh, that are marked and everything else that is set to uh, zero. So let's uh, quickly have a look at um, the, the first what the result uh, is. Um, so if I take the um, working the JPEG image, I can use the Kenny Edge uh, detector from Psychit image, and I'm just first going to use the default parameter just to have a look at what uh, happens. And uh, as I can see, I have a uh, completely black and white image, so it's not uh, the same as uh, as Sobel. Um, and uh, so let's compare it with Sobel quickly to have a look. Uh, uh, no, sorry, Sobel is... So, so Kenny Edge is in the feature module and Sobel is in the uh, filters module. And so as you can see with Sobel, uh, we had a response that was... Uh, uh, so it w that, that was a, f a floating point uh, number, so between zero uh, for the for the lowest part, and uh, so it goes to zero point five, and uh, yeah, around zero point five for the for the uh, for the highest. Uh, so we had a range of value for the depending on the strength of the um, of the of the of the gradients, and with Scanny we just have a, a binary uh, response. So. What uh, does Kenny uh, do? If we take a look at the documentation from uh, Circuit Image, they actually uh, describe the, the different steps of the uh, algorithm. And so we can see that uh, uh, the first thing that, that we do with Kenny is to smooth the image using a uh, Gaussian uh, blur. So this is uh, to remove the uh, higher frequency uh, signal. And this is the first thing that we can uh, control with the uh, parameter that is uh, sigma, so the standard deviation of the Gaussian uh, filter. Um, so if I use, so by default, the sigma is equal to one, that's what we have here. If I increase the sigma, I will see that the uh, higher frequency signal that was present, uh, spe especially at the bottom of the uh, image uh, here, um, is removed and that I only keep the uh, border corresponding to a lower frequency uh, signal. Um, so this is the first, um, the first thing that we can uh, control with, uh, with Kenny. Um, so the second step of the algorithm is to apply the uh, Sobel operators to get the gradients within the image. So this is just applying Sobel and getting the uh, vertical and horizontal um, responses. Uh, and so as it says here, the, the edge strength is the norm of the gradient. That's what we saw earlier with, with Sabella. But you can also get the, um, the direction. And this is uh, used in the third step of the algorithm, where we thin potential uh, edges to one pixel wide curves. So here the idea is for each uh, of the... Um, um, for each point in uh, in the uh, response in the Sobel response, uh, we look at the direction of the uh, of the gradient, and if we have um, multiple uh, pixels that have the um, the same uh, the same di direction, we basically use that information to uh, thin the border and to only keep the uh, the, 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 the the part where the the signal is uh, strongest. Um, so, if for instance, let's take a look back at the Sobel uh, response here. Um, this would mean that if we look at uh, 
the border um, that has been found here. Here, the, the direction for all of those will be uh, the same. It will be a horizontal border. And so we look uh, at the normal of this uh, direction. And for this pixel, for instance, we see, oh, this pixel, there is actually a stronger pixel um, right uh, under it. So a stronger response under it with the same direction. So we will remove uh, this one and we will only keep uh, this, this part of the signal where it is, uh, where, where it is uh, strongest. So this is the uh, thinning out part of the, uh, of the algorithm. Um, and afterwards, uh, there is what they call a, a hysteresis thresholding. So the, the idea is that we will um, split the, 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 the response into different uh, categories for what uh, remains. There will be uh, pixels where the response is above a certain higher threshold uh, will be labeled as uh, strong uh, edges. Uh, labels under a certain low threshold will be just dismissed as not a border. And um, labels between the two thresholds will be uh, labeled as a, a, a weak border. And the idea is to use those um, weak and strong board, um, weak and strong edges to uh, get the uh, final image, where basically if we have uh, a set of, of pixels which are all weak borders together forming just a, where we just have a, a small weak border, we'll remove it also afterward. But if there is at least a small part of the of the edge, um, so for of the connected pixels, if there is at least a small part that is uh, a, a strong border, then we will uh, say that the whole uh, edge is um, is uh, is valid. So this is also a way of removing um, some uh, small weak borders that that might remain somewhere in the in the image. And so this uh, is can also be. Uh, controlled by, uh, by the, 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 the different parameters. So um, we have the uh, low threshold and the high threshold. So the low threshold, um, so by default, uh, as you can say, see the low threshold is 10% the, is of the maximum value of the um, D type. So the D type is the type of the, of the image. In this case, uh, it's an 8-bit uh, uh, unsigned integer. So uh, that means that 10% of that will be um, 20 or around 25 and the high threshold will be around 50 by default so this gives me uh, almost uh, the same result as I had uh, as I had early earlier if I increase the uh, low threshold this will uh, remove uh, a, a bit more uh, slightly more borders um, so if I um, if I increase the uh, high threshold, uh, I will also uh, remove uh, remove different borders. So by, by increasing the low threshold, I will just remove a lot of, of pixels, uh, so more pixels as just not being a border at all. If I increase the uh, high threshold, I will um, increase the threshold for being labeled as a strong border, and so I will dismiss more edges afterwards because they are only composed of, uh, of weak uh, borders. So I have something that is cleaner, but that might miss uh, some, um, some borders. Uh, so if here I take uh, a lower threshold, I will add possibly a bit of noise. If I take a higher threshold, I will remove it. So the, the difference might be sometimes a bit, uh, a bit uh, small, but it really determines uh, which, uh, if we keep more or less uh, small isolated borders, or if we keep, um, so mostly with the, with the sigma. So if I, if I uh, put a, a higher sigma, I will remove uh, more uh, smaller, uh, small isolated borders. Um, if I move the threshold, I will also determine if I keep the, the, the pixels or not, and if I keep the, um, the, 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 the final edges or not. Um, so this is the kind of control that you can have on the, uh, on the Kani, um, and that allows us to have really, this time, a binary response. So this is really the edge uh, detector. So SOBEL is just, um, uh, it's a filter, so it's a kind of a pre-processing step in uh, edge detection. First, it allows us to determine the, the, the strength of the, the, the gradient. But afterwards, if you want to say, is this pixel a border or not, we need some, uh, some uh, way to, um, to, 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 to further process the, the SOBEL response. Um, and uh, Kenny provides us with uh, a fairly uh, 
a good way of doing that efficiently and uh, of getting a response that, depending on the image, will be uh, relatively uh, clean. Um, so we can also uh, use a mask to uh, only detect uh, the, uh, the features in, uh, in a certain part of the, so the borders in a certain part of the, of the, of the image. Um, and uh, that's it for the Kenny algorithm. So that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one.